My name is Bart van der Schuren. I'm vice president at Materialize. We are a Belgium company active in 3D printing or additive manufacturing. We are active in the field already since 22 years. Today, we offer a broad range of different technologies in different markets. We are active in the industrial fields, where we, for example, will produce parts on demand. Then a second field is the medical field, where we, again, will supply software tools or products which are 3D printed and used in, in all kinds of surgeries. And then thirdly, we have an, uh, a growing focus on the consumer, because we also notice that the consumer himself is interested to to use these technologies to start printing and uh, for them we are offering a, a professional printing service. We have uh, with the Materialize basically three basic processes that we apply. What all these processes have in common is that they will print parts layer after layer. The three technologies that we are using are basically classified in the type of raw material that they are using. Uh, with what material do we start from? And the most uh, simple uh, technology is one where you start from a filament and the filament is fed into a nozzle uh, that is heating the filament until it becomes uh, liquid or semi-liquid, a bit like a toothpaste. And what we are doing then with that nozzle, we will extrude and in that way basically uh, write the cross-section of the, of the part that we are building, the layer of the part we are building. And we are first of all writing the counter of uh, the cross-section of the layer and then we are with the same material filling in the material inside the counters of the part. This technology is called FDM and uh, FDM stands for Fused Deposition Modeling um, and in fact if you have a home use printer that is exactly the type of technology that you will have in-house. Now we have a second uh, group of technologies and those technologies make use of powder materials. In this case what we will do is we will deposit a layer of powder and then here we will start uh, with a laser beam and we will write with the laser beam the layer, the section of our part that we are printing. The laser that we are using is a heat laser, so that means that where the laser hits the powder particles they melt and they glue together and where we don't write with our laser, the powder stays loose. At the end of our process, we end up with a cake of powder, and in that powder cake we have our solid components where the powder particles are fused together. And after the process, we just, with our hands, we go into the powder cake, we take out the actual part, we remove the excess of powder, and we have our components. This technology is called laser sintering. The third process is uh, the stereolithography process. And stereolithography is making use of liquids. The basic material, the raw material, is a liquid. And a bit like in our sinter process, we will cast a liquid layer on, on a platform in a vessel. And then we will write again with a laser beam into that liquid. Now this is a special liquid in the sense that the liquid will become solid where it's hit by UV light. And in that way, again, we create a cross-section in the liquid material. So everything that is not hit uh, with the laser beam remains liquid. And in that way, again, we move up the platform. The excess of liquid is flowing back into the machine. And we have our components uh, that we can start using.